Paradox, the Kabbalistic path of expanding consciousness. Why this? Why now? Tikkun Olam is our path to redemption. We need to bring the world to its messianic golden age. We need to turn our universe into a temple, a place where the light of divinity dwells revealed. It's a massive construction project, and we have all been drafted into the workforce. Just like a skyscraper takes masons, carpenters, glaziers, painters, roofers, framers, plumbers, electricians, welders, decorators, and artisans of every sort, so does our multi-millennial tikkun of the world require the input of every single person in the universe from the beginning of time till its end. We each have a task and the skills to complete it. And providence makes sure that we are in the right place at the right time. People are hardwired to notice the absence of exactly what they are designed to contribute. Generally, at some level, each person feels that the fruit of his or her expertise is the most critical ingredient that is missing in any given moment. For some, the priority is charitable deeds and acts of loving-kindness, For others, spreading truth teachings, or learning how to love our neighbors, or educating children properly, or praying with deep intention, or probing the depths of the law. And for some, the priority is to fashion the new thought forms that will be required to hold our messianic lights. In Kabbalah, light is equated with consciousness, and every new awareness needs a paradigm to contain it. Light only becomes visible when it engages with matter. That is why space is pitch black, even though it is filled with stars radiating light. Similarly, consciousness only becomes visible when it engages the mind. And for that to occur, the mind must possess a thought form that is sufficiently spacious and properly configured to intercept the insight that is coming down, or at least some portion of it. And according to Kabbalah, the expertise we must acquire to prepare for our messianic turn of events is the wisdom of paradox. Unless we are grappling with paradox, we are not standing in truth. We have not fathomed the heart of the matter. The skill of negotiating paradox is the thought form that can hold and even draw down our messianic lights. When faced with two contradictory assertions that cannot logically both be true, but are in fact true and must be accepted as such, we have encountered a paradox and the work begins. And furthermore, the Zohar provides a map of the multi-layers of consciousness and it describes a kind of elevator shaft that passes through the center of each world and connects it to the world above. And it informs us that in order to ascend to a higher level of awareness, one must find the center of one's current level, the place where right and left, forward and back, up and down are perfectly balanced. And that requires the poise of opposites, the primary skill of mastering paradox. In summary, our job is to cause the Torah's values of truth, peace, wisdom, compassion, justice, charity, modesty, and moral integrity to shine through our lives and illuminate the world. This is called tikkun olam, and everyone must contribute. Each person has a specialty and notices the lack of exactly what they are designed to offer. The tikkun that underlies this series of teachings is the need to fashion the thought forms that will be required to hold our messianic lights. And for this, we must learn how best to cope with paradox. These ideas and more will be explored in this series of teachings, along with practical instructions about how to bear and even embrace paradox. How to use this resource. These video classes are high in content, low in filler. It will likely take several viewings to integrate their message. You might want to pause the video to meditate on a slide or to take notes. 
When using these videos as teaching aids, keep in mind that each has enough content to stimulate discussion for at least two hour-long classes. Source text will soon be available, making it possible to study the original teachings upon which these lessons are based.